that it, it's hard for me to see how, how people in the middle of the, of the spectrum look at this and take it seriously. Shapiro also went on Piers Morgan uh, to talk about how nobody is really taking this seriously meaning the, the actual conviction, and that this is probably gonna wake more people up to Trump. The bottom line here is that, is that gonna impact the presidential race in any serious way? Not particularly, the only thing it might do actually is have a rally around the flag effect for Donald Trump on the right side of the aisle, and it might actually in, impact independence such that they look at what happened here and they say to themselves, you know, the guy who keeps preaching about democracy being under threat from Donald Trump, that guy's party seems very focused on putting his chief political opponent, who right now is winning the swing states, in jail. Right. I mean, it's, it stinks of being a banana republic. It's the kind of thing you would expect Americans to look at from afar and mock this kind of, 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 of political um, abuse, really, of the, of the judicial system. I don't care what side people are on. This seems to me like an absolute clear case of an overreach purely for political purposes. And at that point, America becomes a very different country. On this one, it is so eminently clear that there is no charge that should have been leveled here against Donald Trump that it's hard for me to see how, how people in the middle of the, of the spectrum look at this and take it seriously. Yeah, Ben is absolutely right. And, and by the way, it gets to the point that we started the show with when Joe Rogan's talking about the system going after Trump. So the average person who is apolitical, the UFC guy who's at fight, who's not particularly political, the pot smoking mushroom doing video game player, they're all kind of looking at this like, wait a minute, Biden's trying to jail Trump. Biden's also telling us that Trump is the one trying to jail his opponents. The country was kind of better under Trump in the first place. Look what's happening to our border now and everything else. And on top of the fact that the case itself is patently absurd.